This video is to cover the initial setup of ACM. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, VM here. So I grabbed a OVA template from our partner portal and I'm just going to go ahead and deploy it. First thing I'm going to do is hit create new and then I'm going to give it a name. Now, if you don't need to create a, uh, a VM uh, for this particular site that you're working on, you can go ahead and just skip ahead about a minute ahead of this video um, and we'll pick up from there. Um, but go ahead and give it a name, then drag the file that you downloaded from the partner portal and you can drag it right into this or you can select that drag drop window and you can browse directly to the file. And once you have it, then you go ahead and hit next and go ahead and next and next again and finally finish and give it a couple minutes, let the VM spin up, power up and once it does that be able to browse to it, um, set your IP address to something in the range of 192.168.1.201, um, something similar to that, and then go ahead and hit it via that IP address. Uh, the login credentials are admin admin. On the first login, it will prompt you to make a change. Um, you can keep it as admin, but we do recommend that you change it to something more secure. So there's the prompt. It'll have you enter admin once again and then you can change the password to whatever you want and once you change it you will log in for a final time here and then once you're in the software the first thing we're going to do is go up to the gear wheel in the top right corner and go to the appliance section and now we'll go ahead and give it a name I'm just going to call this test VM and then I'm going to call the host name the exact same thing to avoid any issues. And then we can go ahead and select our uh, DNS. I'm just going to put my local one. If you don't have one, you can use Google, which is 8.8.8. .8 and I'm going to grab a time server also. If you don't have one, you can Google it and uh, find a time server. There's plenty that are online and free to for public use. Um, so go ahead, once you have that all changed, select your hardware type, it's either enterprise or professional, go ahead and hit save, and once you hit save, it will reboot the appliance. Uh, so go ahead and give it a couple minutes, let it reboot. When it comes back up, uh, it'll ask you to agree to the terms and services. Um, go ahead and hit, hit the little checkbox and submit it. And then you can go ahead and make a change to your IP address. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my local network so I don't have to jump across to a different machine and then I'll go ahead and hit save now I'll just run a quick test wait for this to drop off and then I should be able to access it through its new IP address and now that I can hit it on its new IP address and log in with the credentials um, I know I'm all set and I can move on to the next step which is the licensing process.